Okay guys, tonight's lesson all is all about creating a pictograph. And a pictograph is a picture representation of data. Um, the pieces that you're going to need to think about today as you create your graph are that you need to have a title obviously for your graph. You're going to have um, your data areas and then your data points are represented by pictures. But then you're also going to need to have a key to show what each picture represents. Okay, so what does each stand, symbol stand for? And also think about, you know, like if you have half of a symbol, what does that mean? So as you're starting to think about what kind of pictograph you're going to create, think about all these pieces. You need your title, your data, the areas of your data, and your data collection pieces, plus what your key is going to be, okay? So I want to show you a couple examples of some pictographs. Here's one representing different types, of how the different amounts of money for each person. You have the people's name here. We have our title, Our Money. And you can see down here by the key that each coin, which is a quarter, each coin represents 50 cents. And so obviously here I have whole amounts, but over here I have a half of one. So obviously that means it's a 25 cent. If a whole means 50 cents, half is 25. Um, and so what you would do then to figure out the whole amount is to add it up. Obviously though it shows a quick comparison to show that Meredith has the most. Here's another one that shows the amount of trees that are planted in parks. Each tree stands for 100. So here I have some halves. So half of 100 is 50. So you guys can, here's another example of a, of a pictograph. Um, and the last one that we have here are the seaside chair rentals. Each beach chair represents 10 rentals. And so you can see which day of the week tends to be the most popular for chair rentals for that week. Okay, and so um, but remember that you're going to have to think about the numbers that you have and the halves and the holes and what symbol you want to use to represent your data. Okay. Um, what I got for you is I have a short video that I want you to watch of, hang on a second, um, I have a short video that I want you to watch of your data for data collection. Let me get that ready for you. Sorry it's a little big. Let me size that down. Okay. So short video and then we'll talk about your assignment. Pictograph. A pictograph is a fun way to display information. This type of graph uses pictures to display information. Suppose a classmate of yours, Nicholas, has spent the month of November recording the weather. He noticed that during the 30 days of November, there were 15 sunny days, 10 rainy days, and 5 snowy days. Nicholas can use a pictograph to display this information. Here's how he creates his pictograph. First, there are two lines. The side-to-side -side line, the horizontal line, will display the three kinds of days there were. Sunny days, rainy days, and snowy days. The up and down line, the vertical line, will display how many of each there were. This is a pictograph, which uses pictures to display information. So Nicholas chooses a picture to represent each kind of day. This is the picture for sunny days. This is the picture for rainy days. This is the picture for snowy days. Pay attention to this. Nicholas decides that each picture will represent five days of that kind of weather. What does that mean? Well, each one of these will equal five sunny days. Each one of these will equal five rainy days. And each one of these will equal five snowy days. He writes that on the bottom of his pictograph. Nicholas is ready to fill in the days. He starts by filling in the sunny days. In November, there were 15 sunny days, so he uses three sunny day pictures. Five sunny days, another five sunny days, and another five sunny days. Three pictures for a total of 15 sunny days. Next, Nicholas fills in the 10 rainy days. Five rainy days, and another five rainy days, for a total of 10 rainy days. Next, Nicholas fills in the snowy days. There were five snowy days. So he only needs to put in one picture. There. This is Nicholas's pictograph displaying the number of sunny days, rainy days, and snowy days in November.